Hey everyone, so we've got another image sent in, another awesome orange and teal style. So as always, you guys can go give her a follow down in the description. Her links will be down there. So if you like her style, like her work, you can go give her a follow down there. And if we come down, we can see there's a reasonable amount of flatness, especially to those whites and brighter areas. And yeah, a strong orange and teal color grade. And we are going to be working with this shot up here. So she's sent this into us. And we're going to be trying to recreate its edit. So remember, if you like her style, you can go over her very follow down in the description. And let's get into Lightroom, see what we can do. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is take up the exposure and I'll reduce the contrast. So I'm going to take quite a bit of contrast out because we don't have many shadows or harsh shadows or blacks and we don't have bright whites and highlights and i'll just flatten it out even more by bringing these down shadows will come up and going by our other images as well we'll up the clarity and don't pay attention to the sharpness of this image too much because I think it's a screenshot, so it's gone a bit blurry for some reason. Right, so we are gonna move, we're gonna fine tune up here after the curves. So it doesn't have to be perfect. I just really flattened it out. And I know that there's not very harsh whites and not many shadows. So let's go into the curves. Okay, so that's the curves done. If we just turn them on and off, you can see we added in a bit of contrast in there and we brought up the tones and the mid-tones. So that's, so that's gonna help the reds and just the mid-tones of the image pop a bit more. So let's go up here. I think it looks all about right. Um, let's come down to split toning. So we're looking quite warm at the moment and we want to get these nice purplish tones, almost a red. So adding some reds to the highlights. And then to complement that, we're going to put some teals in the shadows. Okay, so it's only subtle. Uh, yeah, and now let's fine tune all our colors in the HS cell. So our yellows we want to be much much more orange um, well let's bump up the saturation so all these tones really pop from the image Um, let's, so, uh, these are almost purple. We want a nice teal blue. It's not a lot of aqua. Oranges are about good where they are. Keep the reds towards the oranges. Uh, 
come down to luminance. So luminance is quite important. The brightness of a lot of these colors. Now this style has a real pop to it. And I like to bring up the luminance of the yellows to an image like this. And I think that's what she's done is down here is quite bright. So let's bring that up a lot. Maybe just a touch the oranges. And our blues could do with a bit more brightness to them. But keep in mind when you do that, that it will appear to get more desaturated. Um, and then we'll come down. We definitely need some grain. And I think we look about good. I'll just brush over our subject. Maybe doesn't need it, but we'll brush over it. We'll just broaden it a bit. And yeah, I think that's about it. Don't pay, it, it's quite soft. I think it's gone quite soft because of the screenshot off Instagram. But I think that's about right for all the colors. Here's our before and after. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Let me know what you thought of this one in the comments and who you guys wanna see. So if you comment them down in the description, I'll go look for them on Instagram and ask them to do a collaboration. So comment people that have great photos, but not too many followers. That way we can do a collab. And yeah, check out the presets. If you like these tutorials, ton of value there. And catch you in the next one. Cheers.